Come on, Dental, let's experiment. Let's do a little bit of science, huh, pal? Come on, look. I'm like some kind of scholar, you know, man? I'm like a scholarly pursuit sort of guy. And Dental, I think- Be careful in here. Oh, I'll be real careful, Dental. I'll be real careful. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Check this out, Dental, you like this? Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Oblivionid. We're back here in Leowin, inside the book area, because my god, I I had to capture this shit on video. Oh my good god, I was initially thinking, oh yeah, like I said, oh, I'll, I'll look for it on, on camera, or in between videos and all that. By the way, also did a lot of inventory management. Now, it may not look like so much, because you know what, we got 29 units worth, but I cooked up a shitload of potions to just add to my fucking collection of potions that I love to haul around. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm like some sort of lunatic. I, I'm hauling around probably like 200 units worth of weight in potions. I love alchemy. I can't stop. I'm some sort of mad alchemist, just like the Hearthstone card of yore. My god. Let's, uh, let's actually just apply something here. Look, do we have like a... Uh... Look, also I realized, hey, we got turpentine. That's what the turpentine was for. It's a kind of poison. It just like insta-kills, I guess, the trolls, right? Well, now it's become a collector's item. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's put on some weak poison of illness because uh, at level 31, the number one thing that you need to realize is that five extra points of health damage on maximum difficulty, that's going to get you somewhere. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Look at this shit! God! Look! Th that has to be, like, the majority of our carry weight, because check this out. Our heaviest piece of armor is only 15. We may be carrying close to 300 units of weight worth of potions! Look at this shit! <laughs> and you know what? I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. I fucking love alchemy. I've, I've expressed this before, I think, how, um... Uh, Elder Scrolls games actually have uh, encouraged me to just be super into alchemy in all other games, right? Uh, fucking, that, that is why, like, in all MMOs, if alchemy is an available skill, I go for it. I instantly am like, oh, alchemy? Sign me up, baby. Hell yeah. I want to start crafting potions and stuff. Witcher 3 went with an alchemy build, baby. Throwing bombs, drinking potions, looking like a fucking Sith Lord. <laughs> anyway, let me show you this. Look, it's here, dude. It's right there. Look at this. You would not know because it looks completely different from all the other ones, which were humongous books, either like the big red one, or usually I think they tended to be the big purple one. But uh, this one looks like a tiny little, uh, little butthole of a book. And boom, finally, we've got the full set. Holy wackadoo. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's head on out to Romanus Polis, who we still have to turn in the quest for after helping out a man who uh, is definitely, most certainly, a vamp. But kind of friendly? I don't know. He's kind of crotchety, but is he crotchety because he's a vampire who's, like, going through major withdrawal? Or is he crotchety just because he's a fucking old man? <laughs> All right, here we go. Count Hasseldor saved me from the ambush set by Mercator Hosidus. I need to deliver his message to Romanus Polis. Good lord, what a couple of fucking names, huh? <laughs> All right. We'll get on in there, get the Mage's Guild going in a major way. Goodness gracious. All right. Hey, Romanus, what are you doing? Going for a midnight stroll? Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Yeah, Count Hasseldor was a little pissed off, but also, he saved me. Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good sign. Uh, I must apologize. It was never the Council's intention to put you in harm's way. All right, well, hey, why didn't you tell me the truth? Why was I sent to Skingrad? Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the Guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the Count. Well... <laughs> <laughs> we were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. Uh, well, this did, like, the exact opposite. I got fucking ganked, dude. All right, why didn't you tell me the truth, Raminus Polis? I mean, what the hell? Apparently, there's, like, a shitload of leadership problems with the Mages Guild, 
And Raminus, you ain't helping. You ain't doing me a solid here. Why didn't you tell me the truth? The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The Council wishes to keep it that way. The Council? At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you, since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. All right, Raminus. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I see. All right, yeah. I, so I guess we are acknowledging that he is a vamp right now. Look at Rominus looking down at my mouse cursor. Did you see that? He's looking straight at my mouse cursor like, all right, click it, click it, come on. <laughs> all right, fine, I'll do it, Rominus. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret. And in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. All right, well, why does Hasseldor aid you? As a vampire... The Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages, so he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. Hmm. You know, if I were a vampire trying to go undercover, I'd probably look into, uh, you know, getting some makeup. Or, or even more simple and even more uh, explicable, e explicable, explainable in uh, this setting, I would just wear armor. I would just wear a full set of fucking armor that covers your whole head. I mean, geez, holy wackadoo. All right, here, you protect a vampire? It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the council does not consider him to be a threat. Oh. After all... He has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. Okay, so you no longer trust him? We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. You guys just thought that because he was a vampire, least, didn't you? not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. You have done your job admirably. And I thank you for it. All right, sure. Oh, look, can I get some advancement? Yo, hit me up, Raminus. Your services to the Guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Oh, my God. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. Oh, my goodness, thank you. A spell drinker's amulet. Ooh, I think that's one of the good ones that we were waiting for level 30 for. Ooh, man, I think that's a good one. All right, let me see. What kind of spells you got, Raminus? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Eh, fortify Magicka. That, now that's an interesting one, huh? Huh. How does Fortify Magicka work? Because you, obviously you expend Magicka, but is there some kind of perhaps secret, you know? Because our restoration is only about 50 or less, and uh, the cost is 43. Maybe at a certain point you could make it to where you kind of just generate Magicka? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. an interesting thing to consider, huh? All right. Anything else here that you got that might be worthwhile? Terrifying presence? Eh. Pack Mule? 300 seconds worth of that? Superior Spell Reflection? Now that seems like a useful one. We don't have that, do we? We don't have any kind of reflection ability. Ooh. I'm taking it. Doink. There we go. Thanks, Rominus. Uh, let's see. Anything else, though? Ghost walk. Uh, fortify magicka. I feel like keeping just, like, the lowest level of invisibility is all that we really need. Because chances are we're just going to break it. Uh, break the invisibility anyhow. Chameleon, eh, maybe. But, uh, invisibility, eat a butt. Right? All Thank right. you for your patronage. Good talk, Raminus. All right, here, tell me a rumor. The tell me something about Travin. More or <laughs> no? less. Like okay, all. the necromancy one. All right, fair enough. All right. Can we uh, charm Raminus? Time. No, we've already done so. Or he's just happy as hell. All right, tell me a task. Are you ready for it? If not, I understand you've been through quite a bit lately. I mean, you know what? Hang on, Raminus. I do need more time. As I said, I fully understand. I shall be here when you feel... You are prepared. Raminus is pretty fucking understanding. He's a, he's a, he's an okay guy, I guess, right? All right. Fine. Now, Raminus, 
I just need to adjust audio levels a little bit because you're pretty damn soft spoken. <laughs> All right, we'll turn this up and then turn down the music. Oh, shit. That's a lot, bit too much. We still want the nice Jeremy soul kicking in, don't we? All right, here we go. There we go. Turn that up maybe a little bit more. Hopefully that's good enough. Fucking soft-spoken ass Raminus. All right. Save that. Boom. Oh, please don't crash my ass. There we go. I never understand, like, it. it's a little weird that it says MMO, right? What is that? That's like mod something or the other? I have no idea. Some fucking... Thing. Check the description for all my dumb bullshit that I got. <laughs> it's not much. Anyway, Romanus, all right, it's time to talk. I have a new task for you, and I assure you there are no necromancers involved. Yeah, okay, we'll see, Romanus. All right, let's see. Give me that task. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, yeah, I'm ready. Very well. There's a research project going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side of the province. Irlav Jirol is in charge of the project and is apparently in need of some help. I okay. thought you might need a break after the things you've been exposed to lately. You Vampires. can find Erlov in the Archmage's Tower. Oh, shit. All right. In the Archmage's Tower. Tell me more about Erlov. He's a good man, but council matters have distracted him lately, and he's been neglecting his other work. Okay. Jeez. Tell me about tasks Speak again? Speak with Erlov Jirol. He can give you the details you need. All right. Sure. Sounds good. It Erlov should be waiting for you. Romanus, it seems like you don't really know what the hell this is going to be about, so you know what? This could also just be about necromancers. I could go there, show up, and Erlov is like, You know, pal, I got a few problems, and they're called fucking necromancers. Gonna need you to take care of them for me here. Good lord. All right, let's also, before we forget, I almost did, check out our fantastic new amulet. Oh yeah, I put the water walking thing on this uh, ebony ring. We'll have to sell that eventually. Look at that! Spell Absorption! 26 points! Ooh! That's good! Alright, what's our current one? 17 points?! Oh my god! Almost 10 points more! Ooh, that's beautiful! Ooh, look at that! It's very valuable too, the game knows! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Man, look at that! We're at 50, uh, 51% just from these two bits of equipment. Look, do we have any other absorption now that I'm checking here? Let's see, I don't think so. Oh no, we do! Oh shit, we're at 71. Oh shit, do we have more? 71, oh, just 71. Still, that's, that's really good. Oh, that's real good. All right, 71, baby. Hell yeah. All right, let's roll on up in here. Uh, mage, mage quarters, I thought he was up in the tower, but I guess not, I don't know. Shit, maybe this is the tower. All right, oh, there he is, he's taking a snooze. All right, you got anything good in here before I wake you from your slumber? Let's see, you got a novice alembic? Eh, nah, nothing, uh, nothing much, huh? All right, guide to the imp city. All right, fine, fine, fine. All right, what's up, rise and shine? This is the guy we tested our uh, paralyzed spell on? No, I don't think so. You're about Vontikin, are you? Huh? It's a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. The last report I received from Scalil indicated there was some sort of problem, a blocked passage or something, that they couldn't get past. Oh, no. I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the Council. Ramanis says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Is this guy gonna need, like, Look some metamucil? will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Access is restricted, so you'll need this key. Dude, Erlov, what the hell are you even talking about? You're, like, saying all these names like I know what you're talking about, man. All right, uh... Here, tell me, what is what is the the Vatican? <laughs> it's an alien ruin southwest oh, of Oh, is it? <laughs> we suspect that there are some interesting things inside, so a research project was established. Scalil huh. is there now, working on investigating the ruins. All right, tell me about Scalil. She's the mage heading up the on-site research. She can tell you more about whatever it is that's impeding their progress. I swear, if we go there and Scalil is, like, possessed by some ancient alien necromancer, like, super wizard god 500. Ooh, Erlov, I'm gonna tear apart your fucking toilet paper robes. All right, tell me about the city, I guess. You Why know, not? of course, the Imperial Palace is alien. White Gold Tower, they called it back in the Middle Merethic, when the Old Mary ruled Tamriel. Yeah, I've heard, okay. 
Man, this dude's a little into the, the alien ruin business, huh? Is that why you've got your, like, toilet paper outfit? Is that also supposed to mimic the architecture? <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's meant to be, like, an alien uh, sort of outfit, right? Look at that. All right. Looking like a fucking Star Trek character, huh? All right, here. Tell me a rumor. Necromancy may be legal in Cyrodiil. All right. Yeah, we know all about that. All right. Good talk, Erlov. I eagerly await your return. All right. Well, you know what? Go go back taking a nap. Or so Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess he didn't like that one anymore. Must have, uh, yeah, you know, you probably filled it full of sweat, right? Going to sleep just like in a full toilet paper robe. Oh my god, you gotta get real sweaty at night. Good god, man. Don't you love it how sometimes we'll go downstairs and just like break our feet? <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's get out of here. Let's see. Boom. Let's see. I need to find the alien ruins of Vatican and speak with Scalil. It was pronounced- it wasn't pronounced Vatican, right? It was pronounced something different. But I'm calling it Vatican like a fucking jackass. Oh look, hey! It's out here! Out by Chaden Hall, huh? Alright, cool. Boethia's Shrine there too. And Harloon's Watch. You know what? We'll go on over here. We'll check out Harloon's Watch on the way there. I think that's a great idea. We'll uh, mount up on Prior Mabel and have a good-ass ride down there. Down that road and then we'll get off sort of at that situation. Should we wait until it's daylight out? I think so. Let's see. We'll wait, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll try six hours. That should be more than enough. Probably could have cut it at, at seven. But, eh, we'll, we'll live dangerously. We'll live a little dangerously. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Another beautiful day out in Chaden Hall country. Oh, my goodness. All right, we, we don't even need a torch out. Good God. Just a force of habit, honestly. Always pulling out a torch. Looking at this beautiful sort of, uh... Just over the horizon, the pinkness in the sky from, uh, oh gosh, from the sun rising in the, oh, oh over there, should be, <laughs> right? It, it works like Earth, doesn't it? The sun rise. yeah, there it is. Hey, all right, in the east, in Morrowind, fear not for that sun's watchful. <laughs> Fuck me. All right, good lord. I, I've like... I don't know about anyone else, but fucking the Morrowind opening, I've like partially memorized it. Good God. Worse than an ogre is two ogres. Tough <laughs> bastards. And spells seem to bounce right off them. How are you? Oh, interesting. I've been better. What's the news, What's the news from the other, other parts of All right, all right. Maria. Everybody's just Black talking Mars shit. All right. Like Angvir? What? Hey, what's up? Have you heard about these ogres? The Heartlands and Nibonian Valley are the agricultural breadbaskets of Cyrodiil. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I do- I really love the presence of farms in all the Elder Scrolls games. Right? You Take look care. like someone who's comfortable in heavy armor. Alright. Yeah, what sure, can I do job. for you? What's up? Yeah, what, what can you do for me? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Hey. Oh, look, I can't even uh, persuade him at all. Alright. How about this what dude? Do you want? Let me check here real quick. Yes? Nope. Alright, fine. You see, I guess our personality's travels. getting up there, huh? What, what about you? Drarana Thelis? Tell me a rumor? Fighting's easy. Just lead them out on the water and shoot them full of holes. If you've got a bow, of course. And can walk on water. Yo, dude, Drarana! You're, like, giving me, like, exploit advice here. Oh my god, she's, like, giving you some hot mechanics tips. Damn. Drarana's Oblivion Mechanics series. Alright. What do you want? What about you? What's up with you? No, nothing? All can right. I persuade you? No? Okay, fine. What an odd little you town. Too. Huh. This must be, like, uh, a place that you come for a little quest or something, right? Must be. All right, very well. Let's, uh, go off-road in here. Oh, look at all this. The distant, uh, Play-Doh. <laughs> As it has not quite yet been loaded in. Very well. Oh, man. You think in Elder Scrolls Six there won't be any fucking texture popping? Because even Skyrim, although there was it, uh, all, like, 90% of the time, they got- they were so good about, uh, hiding it. My god. I still think that, like, their, uh, their open-world sort of world designers, the artists at Bethesda, are so fucking good at just, like, designing gorgeous-ass worlds, which, you know what? Fantastic, because that's exactly what I play their fucking games for, is just, like, chilling out and exploring around and getting attacked by rats, honestly. <laughs> Here, let's stow away our, uh, our sword, right? Let's level up some of this unarmed, huh? <laughs> Ooh! There you go. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot- I forgot our- our thing is, uh... 
<laughs> fucking uh, range now. All right, good to know. We gotta remember that. I'm so, so accustomed to it just being uh, on touch, right? All right, let's see. Are there any good Nern roots around here? There is something. Maybe a crab. Oh yeah, look. The Crabulons are coming. Boom! There you go. Ugh! Eat butts! Bam! Look at that. Man, level 31. S still punching the shit out of crabs. Some shit never changes. I don't know if you notice. Yeah, there we go. Little Nern root over here. Good stuff. We still need that for what's his butt, huh? All right, look at this. Look at this as well. A little secret hidey hole over here. Let's see. What is this? Swampy cave. And right across from Vatican. <laughs> uh, some monk's hood. Or monk should. <laughs> it's definitely monk should. Monk should. Ooh, I'd like a little bit of monk should, please. All right. Let's steal this dude's soul. Oh, there we go. Boom! Oh, yeah. We didn't even need to. All right, we're taking that gold. All right, let's do a swim-swam over here. Back across. Look at this. This is a nice little area. Man, if I could build a house in this game, would definitely build one right here. What a gorgeous view. Gorgeous view ahead. Right next to Morrowind as well, huh? Yeah. Boom. Or, in the future, Northern Argonia. <gasps> bum, 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 bum. All right. Vatican, babuya. Let's see. What's inside? Probably some sort of terrible shit. They've dug too deep into the Argonian... Or the Argonian ruins. <laughs> the ancient Argonian ruins. That's right. They're ancient lizard bang pits where they all went to have a good fucking rip-roaring party. Smoking on that sweet hissed. Fucking just getting horny as hell. It's like, <laughs> it's like the Argonian version of Burning Man. I don't know if you've ever heard of Burning Man. I don't live anywhere near it, but man, I've heard of Burning Man, and holy shit, it sounds fucking wild as hell. Alright, let's see, let's take a pickaxe. Actually, you know what? No. Man, they just decided, I guess, to haul a few chunks of ruin over here? I don't know why you would do that, but sure. Look at this. I want to, like, mine this. This looks valuable as hell. Just sell that to a vendor or something? I don't know. If this were an MMO, definitely just, like, start mining away at that, sell that stuff away. All right. Knock, knock, who's home? Yeah, let's actually pick into this. Oh, shit, you know what I forgot? Fine. You know what? <laughs> we're fine. You know what? We're gonna risk it for the biscuit in a major way. Oh, man, I knew I was forgetting something. As it turns out, it was our lock pick. Man, look at this. They've really got a lot of picks, uh, pickaxes going on. They actually mine for Welkin stones. It's pretty weird. Especially considering we've never done that ever at all. Ooh. All right. I mean, I guess, I guess the idea is they mined this hole, right? That's what they did. Okay. Let's see, anything up there? Maybe. We should probably be in- <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, she scared me. What's up, Skalil? You have business here? Don't tell me Jarl sent you. Oh, uh... All right, well, since you, you asked so politely, no, he didn't send me. What? No. Then I'll have to ask you to leave the way you came in. The guild is conducting official research here, and I can't have anyone interfering. All right, all right, fine. I lied. I lied. I lied, okay? <laughs> also, did you like my big-ass torch in the way you there? You have business here? Don't tell me Jarl sent you. I mean, you told, you're telling me not to tell you, but he did. All right, he did. Erlov sent you, did he? Figures. He can't be bothered to come check on his own project, so he sends someone who knows nothing about it. And Jesus. this is supposed to help? With some people, you just can't no win. No offense to you, friend. It's not your fault. And perhaps you can help. If All you right. can figure out how to use the pillar, I'd be thrilled. You're welcome to try your hand at it. All right, sure. All right, tell me about the pillar. That's what we're calling it, only because we don't know what it really is. Or was. Does it's it even magical. look like a pillar? <laughs> we know that much. Enchanted somehow. We think it's a lock of some sort, but haven't been able to figure out how it works. All I can say for sure is that it reacts to magic badly most of the time. Oh shit, Several this is like an Arana pillar. Attempting to cast spells at it. It's at the bottom of the ruins, if you wish to try your luck. Be careful though, it could be quite hazardous to your health. All right, sure. Play it safe. No complex magic. Stick to basic spells with single effects. It's not worth taking unnecessary risks. Ah, uh, okay. 
<laughs> Very well. Uh, let's see. Tell me more about the pillar. It's connected to the rest of the chamber. We know that much. We All just right. don't know how it works. I've given up trying to figure it out. It's just beyond us. Why Denel stays down there, I have no idea. He's just asking to get killed. Do you want me to kill him? I could I could make it happen. Tell me a rumor. The lands surrounding Lake Rumar are studded with small settlements, farms, and woodland game reserves. <laughs> wow, what a fascinating rumor. Is that is that the new buzz? <laughs> it's just some some geography. All right, here. Tell me about the place. This place has been nothing but trouble as far as I'm concerned. Since we disposed of the creatures that had taken up residence here, it's been nothing but a fight to figure out how the place works. The pillar has had us stumped for more than a week now, not to mention the injuries it's caused. All right. Can we persuade we'll you see. any? Oh, hey, there we go. All right, let's see. Uh, she looks happy, I guess. Uh, she looks a little pissed. Uh, <laughs> this is a little difficult to discern. I'm guessing these two are bad. All right. I won't fight you. Where'd you? Oh, I'm there not we go. Yep. These two one. are bad. These two are good. All right, good. All right, here we go. Uh, let's try some of this. That's enough. I'm not. There we are. That. Boom. Oh, that's great. great. Oh yeah, that, it is great. I can't argue with. I okay. doubt you really mean. That's your big. There we are. Liar. And oh shit, damn. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's try some oh, of this. Boom, yeah, boom. That's a bit excessive. Let's try. Think. Uh, there I we like go. And, uh, You're full of it. Oh, jeez. You. Was right. that supposed there to be? There we go. And oh god. I'm not buying that. You're okay. And oh, boom. That, big ones. I can't argue oh, with shit, that. Oh shit! Lost some. All right. You're big. You've got a point. All right. That's a bit Oof. excessive, don't you think? <laughs> that's a bit excessive. You're full of it, don't you think? You win this one. Don't. Where'd you go. get that? That's and we aren't good. doing too great. That's enough. You want to know what I'm great at in what this game? Suppose? This I like shit. <laughs> you're a big fat liar. All right. I doubt you really mean that. All right. I can't argue. There we Where'd go. You? Boom. Oh, hey, that. nailed it. Man, that one went me. pretty well. All right. Good talk. What a waste of my talents. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Let's see. Magic from the sky. The wild elves. Let's see. She's got a cask over here. Let's see if we can't... Uh, Loot that shit. There we go. And... Oh, man, there go all of our picks. Oh, jeez. Maybe we should be just opening them like normal. All right. There we go. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Bring out the torch. All right. Anything to do with this weird altar? Any sort of clue? Have you tried looking around for, like, pictures of fish and butterflies and bears and stuff? I find those are usually good indicators of how to solve these puzzles. All right. Ruins key, popping it open. Let's see. Let's actually check the local map. Any secret hidden passages? Nah, doesn't look like it. All right, very well. Oh shit, did you see that? Oh god, I think I'm like tripping out. Maybe it was the root. It looked like there was an invisible being right before me. Man, just make me shit my pants, all right? Like imagine if that whole town where everybody was invisible was actually a bunch of evil folks, right? You just kind of stumbled upon that. That'd be real fucked up. All right. Anything good in here? Chest full of... Oh, yo. All right. Man. Jeez, look at all this stuff. Wow, and there's a spoon in here to boot. All right. I can just take this? You don't mind? All right, I'm just going to take all this. Oh, look. Notice how a lot... Oh, maybe this is for the puzzle, right? Just in case you don't happen to have the spells necessary. All right. Well, I'm sure we have them. Which means, hey, free money. Hey, what's up, Dental? Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? Yeah. Dental plan, huh? All right, here, tell me... <laughs> Fuck me. Tell me about the pillar. I don't know how much Scalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet, but we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really hurts. <laughs> the only thing we haven't figured out is the markings. You see them on the walls? They must relate to the pillar, but I don't know how. Oh, man, okay. If we okay. had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might be able to decipher them. But we lack anything like that. Scalil might have a book that would be useful, but she's been sulking over the way Erlov's been treating her. Perhaps 
You could ask her for it. Okay, sure. Let's see, let's ask again about the alien reference. I don't know. Anything that might help explain these inscriptions in the ruins. They're like nothing we've seen to date. All right. Tell me more about the pillar? I don't know what else to say. Until we have some sort of reference for understanding these symbols, we'll never figure this thing out. All right, all right. Man, too bad we can't call up Arana and get her out here. Jeez. I've had my fill of the place, that's for sure. But I've got the scars to prove it. <laughs> Once we figured <laughs> keeps, out like, the pillar reacted himself. to spells, we tried out a few. I think I was only unconscious for an hour or so, but that was enough for me. I'm trying to help Scalil as best I can, but I'm not going near the thing again. <laughs> Alright, sure. Farewell. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look at these, hey. Oh, what's this? Looks like, uh, I don't know, an equal sign? Read tablet? The inscription reads, Av Molag An Aniamis. Okay, what about this? This looks powerful. What's this thing? Alright, oh look, it looks exactly the same. Uh, it, it reads, Av Mafra Najeya. Alright. How about this one over here? Uh, Magica Loria. Oh man, I know about Magica! Oh jeez, I bet we have to use magic on that one. <laughs> oh look, hey, take a Welkin Stone as well. How about this? Magica Sila. Alright. All right, looks good. Can we uh, put our torch up against this thing or punch it? That's my magic, punching shit. <laughs> you like that pillar? Damn, eat a butt. All right, here. Let's. Uh, what should we try out here? Let's try uh, one of these suckers. Anything? Boom. Oh. 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 oh fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know why it surprised me so much. It was so loud. All right. Oh fuck. All right, here. Let's see. Let's see about this. Oh. Anything? Woo! Be careful in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be careful, man. All right, here. Can we actually get this thing to shock him? <laughs> can we? <laughs> can I? Can I make it happen? Oh! Oh! All right. I think it's possible. Hang on. <laughs> watch out, Daniel. Look out. There's some shit coming your way, pal. You better watch out. Oh, look. Hey, it worked. It must have worked. Huh? Anything? Oh! Shit! Alright, it's too fast. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. We, we got this. I wanted to hit Dental! Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. Oh! Shit! Oh, it coll- the hitbox is too big. It collides with itself. Alright, fine. Dental, you're Be safe careful. to- Oh, hang on. Dental, hang on. Don't you want to go back in the room? <laughs> Don't you want to go back in the room? Huh? Come on, Dental. Let's experiment. Let's do a little bit of science, huh, pal? Come on. Look, I'm like some kind of scholar, you know, man? I'm like a scholarly pursuit sort of guy. And Dental, I think... Be careful in here. Oh, I'll be real careful, Dental. I'll be real careful. <laughs> Check this out, Dental. You like this? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on, Dental, take some more of this. You like this? Huh? Hey, let's, let's shoot a few of these. How about this? Be careful. Oh, I'm being real careful, pal. Huh? There we go. Oh, shit, did we break it? Oh, Dental, be careful. Oh, it's getting a little toasty. It's getting a little fucking toasty. <laughs> oh, careful, Dental. Oh, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, look at him go. Hang on, Dental. I'll sneak you inside. Hang on. I'll sneak you in. <laughs> hang on. We'll throw him inside. <laughs> no, Dental, hang on. You gotta go back down. We almost made it. We almost solved the puzzle. <laughs> Dental, come on. I'm gonna get you in there, and you just open it from the other end. Check it out, Dental. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on, Dental. Hang on. Oh, there we go. All right, Dental, we almost got it. We almost solved the puzzle. Uh, come on, Dental. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, his arm. Oh, oh. All right, he didn't want to go in. There was an invisible wall. You know what, Dental? I gave it my best shot. What do you want? Oh, nothing. I was... <laughs> you having fun there, Dental? So look, you were only unconscious for like a few seconds that time, right? 
That's nothing. You were unconscious for like an hour before, huh? This, if anything, it probably feels great. It probably feels real good, right? Probably gives you a shock to your system. Makes you feel alive, right, Dental? All right, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be right back. You stay in there. Be ready. I'm gonna. We're gonna have some more fun. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking dental. All right. Hey, <laughs> hey, Skalil, did you what hear you any of that uh, electroshock? Don't uh, don't worry about any of that. If there's anything about Vatican you need explained, let me know. I'll help if I can. All right. Hey, I heard that you got a good book, uh, an alien reference. I don't know why Dental is even trying. This is doomed to fail. But fine. If he wants it, he can have it. It's just one more thing I'll get blamed for in the end. Man, Skalil is kind of not great at uh, solving puzzles, huh? What a waste of my talents. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Come on, look look a little bit chipper here, uh, Skalil. Jeez, if, you, if you're if you so upset at Dental, I've got a few ways that you can fix that problem. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's take a look at our books. Let's see, Alien Reference Guide or something. There it is. Okay. Alien Inscriptions and Their Translations by Raelis Anin. The following inscriptions were painstakingly transcribed and interpreted over many long years and are preserved here for all time. Av Molag Animus, Av Lata Magica, From Fire Life, From Light Magic. All right, sure. Let's take a look. This one over here was, uh, was that exactly. Yeah, Av Molag. All right, fine. Let's, uh, throw some fire. Alright. Let's see, how about, uh, do we need to do something from this corner, I guess? I'm guessing, All right? Do we have a flare here? There we go. Boom. Anything? Hey, there we go. Alright. Ugh. Looks a little fucked up, but fine. Alright, and this one is Avmafra Najia, or Najaya. Let's take a look here, and let's see. Uh, let's see. Bara Ajay Ri Su Karan. Wear lore as your armor. Okay. How about Ajia Halia Nejorain Amero Laloria? Wisdom learned by pain is a reliable guide in dark times. What is this, from a fucking fortune cookie? Literally, terrible wisdom never betrayed the lore masters. Oh shit. Alright, that's a little. <laughs> Imagine if you found that in a fucking fortune cookie. Alright. New Aldmeri or Aldmeris Mathmeldi Admia Orain Gandra Sapridia Avrelius Yebrelius Yevarle. Our exiled elven ancestors heard the welcoming gifts of peace in the streams and beech trees and stars. Mathmeldi means literally from home driven. Huh. Suna Suna ye Suna be. Bless and blessed be. All right. None of these have magicka in them, right? Now, what is the one that we're looking for here? It's uh, Avmavra Najea. All right. Let's see. Avmavra Najea. Mavra, Mavra Najea. Najea. Uh, I don't know. All right. What? What about this? Va Vagarlas Ajea. Gravia ye Goria. Latia Malari of Malatu. In the caverns of lore, ugly and obscure, shines the gold of truth. All right. And what about this? Vabria Frencia Sabel. Sabon. Uh, Amaraldalne. Admeris Adone. The foaming wave, so thunderous, so mighty, heralds the lordly elves. Bless and blessed be. Oh, I don't know why I just decided to read that one there. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's see. So what are we looking for? Shit. Let's see. I don't remember any. Yeah, of Mafre Najia. What? Is there a Mafre here? Or a Najia? I don't think so, dude. Man, I've always been bad at learning other languages. It's gotta be said. Fucking failed French class. All right, let's see. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's see. Nothing here. All right, fine. Let's see. Do we need to interact with this thing somehow? Is this like a clue now? Do we have a clue? Av Molag Aniamis. All right. How about over here? Magica Sila. What's Sila? Let's see. Do we have a Sila here or something? 
Uh, nope, 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 nope. Let's see. Sila, 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 Sila. Oh, shit. All right, fine. Here, maybe we can talk to our friend and he'll give us a hot tip. What's up? Go ahead, please. Hey, did you notice? I I did it. Oh, no, wait. He wants to read it. Okay, here. Tell me about the pillar. You're the one with the book. You tell me how it works. Oh, damn. Okay, fine. Tell me. Here. This is the book. You got the book, eh? Good for you. Right. I've given Hold up on. trying to deal with her for now. I'll tell you what. I'll take the book, and then if you can read me the inscriptions, I'll see if I can find the translations for them. Oh. Okay. Sure. Translation. Okay. What do you need translated? Man, how's he gonna translate all this stuff? Some of this ain't in the book. Dental, how are you figuring this stuff out? Are you some kind of wizard god? All right, here, tell me about Av Molag uh, Aniamis. I like Molag because uh, that's uh, that's something you see a lot in Morrowind Land, which uh, definitely does seem, you know, molten, Molag. Eh. All right. According to this, it translates to from fire, life. Fire it is, then. Anything else? Okay, well, how about uh, Mafre Najea? Mafre seems to translate to frost, so a spell with frost damage should work for it. Anything else? You motherfucker, what book are you reading from? All right, hang on, let okay. me... Okay. Man, all right, here. Let me, uh... This is kind of exciting, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it sure is. All right, here. Let's get some frost stuff going on. Uh, let's see. Oh shit, do we not have a frosty on target? Alright, can we do on touch? I really don't want to expend our scrolls, but you know what? We may have to. Boom! Oh. Huh? Did that did that do something? I don't know, dude. Uh <laughs> Alright. Uh I don't know. It looks about the same? Alright, here. Translate another one for me. Yes. Uh let's see. Iliad reference. Have a book. Yep, yep, yep. Translation. There we go. All right, how about Sila? It means Magicka Shines. And taken in context with the other inscription about Magicka Darkening, perhaps there's an alternate translation. If we assume it means Magicka Waxes, then a spell increasing Magicka might be what we need. Something that fortifies it, perhaps. Oh. All right. And this one, Loria? It means Magicka Darkens. Considering the other inscription, it could be translated to mean Magicka Wanes, along with Magicka Waxes. Perhaps a spell that damages Magicka is what you're looking for. Okay, fine. Okay, Loria is for low. Okay, Loria is low, right? Perhaps yeah, a spell... damages. All right, fine. Okay. Okay, yep, yep, yep. This is Loria, exciting. where are you at? Let's see. Oh, this is the fortification one. All right, hang on. Look out, pal. It's coming in hot. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got a fortify uh, magicka sort of situation here. Oh, shit. It probably has... Oh, elevate magicka. There we go. All right. We have to use the scrolls anyway. Do a quick save just in case this is a terrible thing. Boom! Well, that looks bad. Oh! Jeez! All right. Well, shit, man. All right, let's quick load here. All right, I guess the other one worked. All right. So, uh, Loria means, uh, <laughs> to, to make it low, right? So we need one that hurts it. Huh? Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Weakness to Magicka? No, that ain't what we want. We want some kind of damage Magicka thing. Let's see. Or drain Magicka, maybe? Oh, shit. All right. Hang on, let's look through everything that we have. Oh, God, it may have been a good idea to not take these. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, dispel, silence, shock damage, silence, frost damage, soul trap, demoralize, turn undead, charm, weakness to frost, weakness to magic. Maybe. We'll try it. How about this? Oh, they're gonna shock me again. Oh, God. All right, fine. Here. This one is Loria, which means make it low, right? That's what, what we figured out, right? All right, here, translation. Let's see, Loria. It means Magicka Darken. Perhaps a spell that damages me. Okay, yeah. All right, oh. never mind. This is kind of exciting. Very well. Spell that damages Magicka. Is there more in here? No, there's mead, though. Dude was straight boozing. All right, and a spoon. All right. 
Let's see. Oh, are there any goodies in here that we can use? No, okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, so we need one that damages somehow. All right, let's see. Maybe it was an on-touch that we had found. Let's see. Uh, damage... Drain Magicka? Eh? Huh? No, that's, that's definitely one that we found. Here we go. Major Sever Magicka. Okay. How about... Do, is there a lighter one? D there we go. Sever Magicka? Perhaps? Let's see. Okay. Let's do a quick save here. And... Boom. Huh? They, oh, the stones are appeased. Look, we can just sneak in now. <laughs> hey, man. Why don't you just... Can we sneak you in now? Look, there's a giant opening. I could fit in there. Look. Here, I can, I can just go in this one, man. Oh shit! All right, fine. Or I bet if we, if I had higher acrobatics, I could just jump on up in there. All right, let's see. We need a fortify magica effect. Apparently, that other one does not work. Let's see. Uh, let's try. Must be one of the on touch ones, right? Let's look for fortify. Too bad we can't sort by effect name, right? That would be a lot more useful. All right. Nope, nothing. All right, fine. Maybe it's one of these then. Maybe we have have to go with this. Let's see. Eh, fortify, fortify, Magicka, fortify, fortify, restore, fortify. Man, we may just have to use this one, right? All right, here. Maybe we just did in a weird order that I didn't like. There we go. I've solved the puzzle of the pillar, opening up more of the ruins of Vatican. <laughs> hey, look at that! Oh, look at this, man! Here, look, it's your lucky day. You can go in now. Be careful in here. Oh, yeah, I'm very careful. Look, I opened it. I did it. Well, would you look at that? Someone will need to see where this goes. I think you should go. You've done all the hard work, after all. Oh, okay. If there are any discoveries to be made, you should be the one to make them. You deserve that much. All right, sure. Be careful. Sounds Be good, cautious. but also sounds like you're kind of afraid what might be in there, so you want me to die? I don't know. I feel like he's getting back at me for me just electrocuting the shit out of him. Which, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, can we talk to her and tell her the good Have news? Have you found anything interesting in the ruins? <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe I have. Maybe, Scalil. I fucking opened it using this book? Oh my gosh, if only for you decided to use the book. What? What the hell? You made it work. Yeah. That's fantastic. Not only can I tell Erlav we're back on track, but I can happily say we did it without his help. What? There must be something down there worth locking up. Would you mind taking a look as long as you're here? If I can send you back with something worthwhile, Erlav may forget all about our delays. All right. Man, maybe I should tell Erlav about how fucking dumb what she was with the book. Of my talents. <laughs> yeah, what great talents you have. Deciding to withhold the main solution. Alright, great. Well, when next we come back, we'll head deeper into the Vatican. And perhaps we'll uncover a fantastic new hat. Oh my gosh, everybody knows that Vatican. So, oh my goodness, there's lots of good hats to be had around those parts. Anyway, we'll head on inside... Get a whole bunch of weird shit done. Probably we'll uncover some sort of terrible zombies or ghosts or whatever the hell is crawling around inside. And before we head off, we will read the next in the series of books. Let's see. We are on volume three, aren't we? Uh, 2920, First Seed. If you'd like to stick around, we'll be giving it a read. 2920, First Seed, volume three. First Seed, book three of 2920. The Last Year of the First Era by Karlovac Townway. 15, First Seed, 2920. Care Suvio, Cyrodiil. From their vantage point, high in the hill... Where is Care Suvio? Huh. I guess it no longer exists, right? Yeah, we're in Cyrodiil. There ain't no Care Suvio around. All right. From their vantage point, high in the hills, the Emperor Raymond III could still see the spires of the Imperial City. But he knew he was far away from hearth and home. Lord Glavius had a luxurious villa, but it was not close to being large enough to house the entire army within its walls. Tents lined the hillsides, and the soldiers were flocking to enjoy his lordship's famous hot springs. Little wonder, winter chill still hung in the air. Prince Julek, er, Julek, your son, is not feeling well. 
When potentate Versidu Shea spoke, the Emperor jumped. How that Akaviri could slither across the grass without making a sound was a mystery to him. Poisoned, I'd wager, grumbled Raymond. See to it he gets a healer. I told him to hire a taster like I have, but the boy's headstrong. There are spies all around us. I know it. I believe you're right, your Imperial Majesty, said Versidu Shea. These are treacherous times, and we must make precautions to see that Morrowind does not win this war, either on the field or by more insidious means. That is why I would suggest that you not lead the vanguard into battle. I know you would want to, as your illustrious ancestors Raymond I, Brazolus Dor, and Raymond II did, but I fear it would be foolhardy. I hope you do not mind me speaking frankly like this. No, nodded Raymond. I think you're right. Who would lead the vanguard, then? I would say... Or, I thought I was about to say I would. I would say Prince Julek, if he were feeling better, replied the Akaviri. Failing that, Storig of Faroon with Queen Nagheya of Riverhold at left flank, and Warchief Ulakath of Lil Lilmoth, Lilmoth, <laughs> at right flank. A Khajiit at left flank, and an Argonian at right, frowned the Emperor. I never do trust the beast folk. Yeah, Raymond is a shithead, huh? All right. The potentate took no offense. He knew that beast folk referred to the natives of Tamriel, not to the Seishi of Akavir like himself. I quite agree, your imperial majesty, but you must agree that they hate the Dunmer. Ulax has a particular grudge after all the slave raids on his lands by the Duke of Mournhold. The Emperor conceded it was so, and the potentate retired. It was surprising, uh, thought Raymond, but for the first time, the potentate seemed trustworthy. He was a good man to have on one side. 18 First Seed 2920 Ald Erfoud. Erfoud? Morrowind. How far is the Imperial Army? asked Vivek. Two days' march, replied his lieutenant. If we march all night tonight, we can get higher ground at the Praye tomorrow morning. Our intelligence tells us the Emperor will be commanding the rear. Storig of Faroon has the vanguard, Nagia of Riverhold at left flank, and Ulox of Lilmoth at right flank. Ulox, whispered Vivek, an idea forming, is this intelligence reliable? Who brought it to us? A Breton spy in the Imperial Army, said the lieutenant, and gestured towards a young sandy-haired man who stepped forward and bowed to Vivek. What is your name, and why is a Breton working for us against the Cyrodiils? asked Vivek, asked Vivek smiling. My name is Kassir Whitley of Dwinin, said the man, and I am working for you because not everyone can say... He spied for a god, and I understood it would be, well, <laughs> profitable. Vivek laughed. It will be, if your information is accurate. 19 First Seed, 2920. Bodrum, Morrowind. The, la the quiet hamlet of Bodrum looked down on the meandering river, the Praye. It was an idyllic sight, lightly wooded where the water took the bend around a steep bluff to the east, with a gorgeous wildflower meadow to the west. The strange flora of Morrowind met the strange flora of Cyrodiil on the border, and co-mingled gloriously. Is the flora of Cyrodiil very strange? Hmm, maybe in the first era and it changed, I don't know. It's, I don't know, the flora of Cyrodiil is very normal. Alright, there will be time to sleep when you've finished. The soldiers had been hearing that all morning. It was not enough that they had been marching all night. Now, they were chopping down trees on the bluff and damming the river so its water spilled over. Most of them had reached the point where they were too tired to complain about being tired. Let me be certain I understand, my lord, said Vivek's lieutenant. We take the bluff so we can fire arrows and spells down on them from above. That's why we need all the trees cleared out. 
damming the river floods the plains below so they'll be trudging through mud, which should hamper their movement. That's exactly half of it, said Vivek approvingly. He grabbed a nearby soldier who was hauling off the trees. Wait, I need you to break off the straightest, strongest branches of the trees and whittle them into spears. If you recruit a hundred or so others, it won't take you more than a few hours to make all we need. The soldier wearily did as he was bade. The men and women got to work, fashioning spears from the trees. If you don't mind me asking, said the lieutenant, the soldiers don't need any more weapons. They're too tired to hold the ones they've got. These spears aren't for holding, said Vivek and whispered. Uh, said Vivek and whispered. If we tired them out today, they'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Before he got to, er, before he got to work supervising their work. It was essential that they be sharp, of course, but equally important that they be well balanced and tapered proportionally. I mean, are they spears or javelins, eh? All right. The perfect point for stability was a pyramid, not the conical point for of some lances and spears. He had the men hurl the spears they had completed to test their strength, sharpness, and balance, forcing them to begin on a new one if they broke. Gradually, out of sheer exhaustion from doing it wrong, the men learned how to create the perfect wooden spears. Once they were through, he showed them how they were to be arranged and where. Man, Vivek is kind of a fucking taskmaster of shit hell. Alright, that night... There was no drunken pre-battle carousing and no nervous neophytes stayed up worrying about the battle to come. As soon as the sun sank beneath the wooded hills, the camp was at rest, but for the sentries. 20 First Seed 2920 Bodrum Morrowind Miramor was exhausted. For last six days he had gambled and whored all night and then marched all day. He was looking forward to the battle, but even more than that, he was looking forward to some rest afterwards. He was in the Emperor's command at the rear flank, which was good because it seemed unlikely that he would be killed. On the other hand, it meant traveling over the mud and waste the army ahead left in their wake. As they began the trek through the wildflower field, Miramor and all the soldiers around him sank ankle-deep in cold mud. It was an effort to even keep moving. Far, far up ahead, he could see the vanguard of the army led by Lord Storig emerging from the meadow at the base of a bluff. That was when it all happened. An army of Dunmer appeared above the bluff like rising Daedra, pouring fire and floods of arrows down on the vanguard. Simultaneously, a company of men bearing the flag of the Duke of Mornhold galloped around the shore, disappearing along the shallow river's edge where it dipped to a timbered glen to the east. War Chief Uloth, nearby on the flank, on the right flank, let out a bellow of revenge at the sight and gave chase. Queen Naghia sent her flank towards the embankment to the west to intercept the army on the bluff. The Emperor could think of Nothing to do. His troops were too bogged down to move forward quickly and join the battle. He ordered them to face east, towards the timber, in case Mornhold's company was trying to circle around through the woods. They never came out, but many men, facing west, missed the battle entirely. Miramor kept his eyes on the bluff. A tall Dunmer, he supposed must have been Vivek, gave a signal and the battle mages cast their spells at something to the west. From what transpired, Miramor deduced it was a dam. A great torrent of water spilled out, washing Nagia's left flank into the remains of the vanguard, and the two together down the river to the east. The emperor paused, as if waiting for his vanquished army to return, and then called a retreat. Miramor hid in the rushes until they had passed by and then waited as quietly as he could to the bluff. The Morrowind army was retiring as well, back to their camp. He could hear them celebrating above him as he padded along the shore. To the east, he saw the Imperial army, 
They had been washed into a net of spears strung across the river. Nagia's, oh, uh, they weren't for throwing either, huh? Yeah, they were just planted in the ground as like a super trap, huh? All right. Nagia's left flank on Storage's vanguard on Ulak's right flank. Bodies of hundreds of soldiers strung together like beads. Miramore took whatever valuables he could carry from the corpses and then ran down the river. He had to go many miles before the water was clear again, unpolluted by blood. 29, first seed, 2920. Hig- Higaith Hammerfell. You have a letter from the Imperial City, said the chief priestess, handing the parchment to Corda. All the young priestesses smiled and made faces of astonishment. But the truth was that Corda's sister, Rija, wrote very often, at least once a month. Corda took the letter to the garden to read it, her favorite place, an oasis in the monochromatic sand-colored world of the conservatorium. The letter itself was nothing unusual, filled with court gossip, the latest fashions which were tending to wine-dark velvets, and reports of the Emperor's ever-growing paranoia. You are so lucky to be away from all of this, wrote Risha. The Emperor is convinced that his latest battlefield fiasco is all a result of spies in the palace. He has even taken to questioning me. Rupja kept it so you never have a life as interesting as mine. Korda listened to the sounds of the desert and prayed to Rupja the exact opposite wish. The year is continued in Rain's hand. Oh, all right. Eh, Nice, fun-ass, big old battle just described there in that one. But uh, notice nothing continued about Molag Bal marching around. A little weird, a little bizarre. Maybe uh, that'll be carried on in uh, Volume 4? Wherever the hell that is. There it is. Yeah, Rain's hand. All right. Well, when next we come back, like I said, we'll be heading deep into the Vatican. (laughs) Till next time. Peace.